Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. And a special thanks goes out to Shauna for enabling this video to be made for all of you. I'm going to be reading from Planets in Transit by Robert Hand, and it's going to be about transiting Pluto in opposition to natal moon. This transit can denote a period of extreme emotional confrontations with others in which you or they attempt to manipulate each other emotionally. For example, in a love relationship, either you or your partner may use various combinations of guilt, jealousy, or threats of abandonment to force the other into acting in a particular way. You may be involved in a relationship that is too possessive in which you or your partner doesn't allow the other any freedom to relate to other people or to be an individual. In such a situation, the pressures can build up to the point of explosion with potentially fatal consequences to the relationship. Sometimes you are acting from the best motives. You may not even be aware that you are smothering your partner, thinking it's just love, not a suppression of the other's individuality. And the other may not understand what is happening either, except that something is terribly wrong. Then the partner who senses that things are wrong feels very guilty which can poison the relationship too. And this process is not limited by any means to lovers. It can affect any emotionally based relationship. The best procedure is to be very honest with everyone with whom you are involved in a relationship and make it clear that you want them to be honest too. Then you can get these pressures and tensions out into the open where you can handle them. If someone is not honest with you, perhaps it would be best to break off the relationship. This transit can also signify a period of deep inner turmoil. Your unconscious mind may play tricks on you that are quite upsetting, for you become the victim of inner compulsions that make no sense in terms of your current experience. They don't make sense because they represent the reactivation of elements from your past that you have never really dealt with. Infantile patterns and childhood programs that you thought you had outgrown may surface now to disturb your adult ways of dealing with the world. What you must do is come to an understanding of what these patterns represent in your life. If you recognize them and give them a place in your life, you may find that these energies can be creatively harnessed in adult life. They appear to be horrible only because you are programmed to disapprove of them, which distorts your perception. Be particularly aware of any obsessive ideas or notions. These can be very powerful under this transit and may require therapy to make them a useful rather than a rejected part of your life. Women in particular 
may become the screen upon which you focus your projections. If you have trouble with women under this transit, look within yourself for the roots of the problem. That's a big one. This reading was deep and big, but you that listened, you now have a jump on this because you're bringing it to your conscious awareness because it has to do with the transit that you are having. Pluto, in opposition to your natal moon. Okay, and if any of you have any questions, please feel free to email me. If you would like a written copy of what I just read, email me, thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. And I'm being called to say if any of you who would like a private reading with me, send me an email. I would be happy to do that, to send you my private readings list. I do online and in-person private readings. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Until next time, bye.